What's up and welcome to my first Descendant video for the first time. Um, I am going to really quickly share a few tips and tricks with you that you either know already or you don't know because you're an absolute idiot like me. It took me roughly 20 hours to figure out this first one, uh, which is one of the worst things that's ever happened to me, probably since I played through half of Mass Effect when it came out without leveling up once. But anyway, that's not not here nor there. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is that I was complaining that you can't compare guns with guns in your inventory or any other item with something in your inventory. Uh, and then I found out that you actually can. If you notice right here, it says Shift Comparison Tooltip On. Uh, obviously, I don't know what the button is if you're using a controller or on console, but it goes from showing you the item you're hovering over to showing you the one that's equipped. And it doesn't work vice versa, obviously. But yeah, so that's the first tip. Um, if you're an absolute idiot like me and didn't know you could do it, it really makes it a lot easier. I was just kind of looking at the one in my inventory and going, oh, green number mean good, red mean bad. I will use green number and then that's what I used forever. So hopefully this gives you a little more insight into what you have going on between the one in your inventory and the one that is equipped. Uh, as you can see, it's the same with weapons. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. There you go, that's tip number one. Tip number two is for when you're fighting these giant Colossus bosses. Um, one thing that I noticed was when I was fighting certain bosses, specifically when I got to around Dead Bride, um, all of a sudden it got a lot more difficult and it was really hard to survive. Um, one of the reasons for that is you might be playing co-op. Again, these are tips for if you're an idiot, as I have been throughout my playthrough, uh, and I don't really read anything. So just to let you know, if you're playing co-op and you're in a party of two or three or four, the bosses are more difficult. They have more health and they do more damage. So if you're really struggling and you're playing with four players, you might be better off soloing because when you queue into matchmaking, you can hit start intercept private, start public intercept. If you go into private and play by yourself, you'll do a whole lot more damage a lot more quickly than when you have four people in your party. For this boss, Devourer in particular, I was getting absolutely hammered in four player co op online, and it seems like four players would be the easier mode, so you kind of want to match make and search publicly. Um, but I instantly lost every time because one, my teammates just die over and over again and waste all the deaths, two, your damage is heavily nerfed even to the weak spots on the bosses. So I was able to go into private solo and beat this boss by myself much more easily than with four people. So that is tip number two. If you're really struggling in public uh, lobbies and you think that you seem like you're not doing a lot of damage compared to when you're out of the boss fights and like that kind of thing, you might just need to do it solo and you could probably do it a lot easier than you thought. My last tip, and this might be the dumbest of all, is how to level up your mastery rank. You see, this pops up right here in your inventory and it'll have a little thingy over it. I've been mastery rank nine for like 11 months, but anyway, um, it'll have a little thingy over it telling you that you ranked up your mastery rank. But when you click on it, it'll just take you to this screen and show you what the rewards are. And I did that over and over again for like 20 minutes and I was so confused because I was like, how do I level up my mastery rank? What is going on? So what you actually do is you come back to Albion or Albion or Albion or Albion or Al Albion or uh, Al, Al, I don't know, Albion. And then you just walk in here. That's literally it. This giant hand is the hand that levels it up for you. So you come over here, you activate your prime hands, which is just the craziest way to put ranking up. And you click mastery rank up, and then you long press this mastery rank up, and it'll get you to the next rank. And then you get all this cool stuff. But yeah, I spent longer than I'm proud of going into my inventory and like clicking this and trying to figure out, like I was like, oh, click this, maybe click this. And then I was coming in here and I was clicking all these and I was I was so confused trying to figure out how you actually 
do the mastery rank up. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. You just come over here and you get the prime hand job going and uh, you activate it and that's it. That's how you level up your mastery rank. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. These are three of the dumbest tips I could possibly give you, but uh, I struggled with them, so maybe you will too. Uh, this has been the first Descendant for Dummies. Uh, if you're interested in more stuff like this, uh, it's coming soon, so gear up.